நீட் தமிழ் அகாடமி சேனல் பெருமையுடன் வழங்கும் பிரபு சேராவின் ஜூனியர் டாக்டர் நான் உங்கள் பிரபு பேசுகிறேன் இது நீட் ஜுவாலஜி கோச்சிங்கான ஆடியோ கம் வீடியோ புக் எபிசோடு செவன் கிளாஸ் லெவன் யூனிட் ஹியூமன் ஃபிசியாலஜி சாப்டர் நம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ கெமிக்கல் கோஆர்டினேஷன் அண்ட் இன்டகிரேஷன் டாபிக் ஃபைமஸ் கிளாண்ட் திஸ் வீடியோ ஹாவ் அ ஃபோர் செக்மெண்ட் நம்பர் ஒன் நீட் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் நம்பர் டூ கோல்டன் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் நம்பர் த்ரீ போனஸ் பாயிண்ட் அண்ட் நம்பர் ஃபோர் ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் NEET points taken from NCERT book hence most of the question in NEET directly taken from the NCERT book so NEET points from NCERT books look at the picture of the location of thymus gland it is located in the thoracic region behind the heart NEET point segment the thymus gland is a lobular structure that means thymus gland have bilobed structure it is located on the dorsal side of the heart and aorta that means back side of the heart and aorta the thymus gland plays a major role in the development of the immune system actually it is a lymphoidal organ it is a partial endocrine gland so it play a major role to development of immunity of our body the thymus gland secrete a peptide hormone called thymosin the hormone thymosin play a major role in the differentiation of t lymphocytes commonly called t cell there are two type of lymphocyte in our body b lymphocyte and t lymphocyte b lymphocyte differentiate in bone marrow but the t lymphocyte differentiate in thymus the first letter t indicate thymus hence the thymosin play a major role for the differentiation of t lymphocyte the t lymphocyte provided the cell mediated immunity but the b cell provided the antibody mediated immunity cell mediated immunity means which can able to destroy the virus infected cell so the thymus responsible for prevention of virus infection and also the thymosin promote the production of antibodies that antibodies provide humoral immunity humoral immunity means if the pathogen comes via blood humoral means blood especially which is against the bacterial infection antibodies is a kind of protein produced by b lymphocyte the thymus degenerated in old individual that means in the old age people the thymus totally disappear regarding this point we can discuss detail in the golden segment point as the result the thymosin hormone also reduced hence the thymus play a major role in immunity if the thymus gland disappears as the result the immune response of the old person become very weak golden point segment this golden point taken from best biology neat books which is highly helpful to the students in order to get the maximum mark in neat examination so the golden points from golden books thymus golden point segment look at the structure external structure as well as cross section the thymus have a two lobes thymus has a bilobed structure or two lobes each lobe surrounded by a fibrous capsule from the fibrous capsule the septa arises and divide the entire lobe of the gland into small small lobules each lobuli are differentiate into outer region cortex and inner region medulla you can see clearly in the given pictures the cortex region of the thymus gland have actively proliferating lymphocyte it is otherwise called thymic nerve cells the medulla region of the each lobe of the thymus gland consist of three important cells number 1 epithelial cell number 2 mature lymphocyte and number 3 the much more important cell hazel corpuscle this three cell you can see the clearly in the given pictures thymus is one of the first lymphoidal organ developed in all animal that means among the all lymphoidal organ thymus is the first lymphoidal organ developed at birth it reaches the maximum size at birth the thymus continues to grow till the age of 12 years after the person reach at the age of puberty the thymus gland slowly undergo degenerate when the people reach at the age of old that means an old age the thymus gland completely disappears that's why the old age people have a less immunity already we have discussed in neat point apoptosis process of thymus thymus gland is responsible for maturation of t lymphocyte proliferation of t lymphocyte and also it provide training to the t lymphocyte for the production of cell mediated immunity 
out of the trained t cell only 1% of the t lymphocyte leave out from the thymus and reached the secondary lymphoidal organ for your better understanding i want to compare this function of thyroid gland and t lymphocyte with our indian army because our indian military protect our nation and thymus protect our body from the pathogen our indian military give the training to particular place for example dehradun or uti etc after getting the proper training of our soldier who got the best training for those soldier our indian military sent to the border of our nation for the purpose of protection in the same manner the thymus gland also give the training to the t cell out of 100 t cell which t cell get the best training for those t cell it send it out to reach the secondary lymphoidal organ from the secondary lymphoidal organ the trained t cell fight against the pathogen now the remaining 99 percentage of the t cell the t cell those who does not get the best training that 99 percentage of the t cell killed by thymus itself that is called the process is termed as programmed cell death otherwise apoptosis in such a way the thymus and t cell protect our body beyond the best now let us see what are the hormones secreted by thymus gland already we have discussed in the neat point thymus gland secrete thymosin but in the golden point the thymus gland actually secrete four hormones number 1 thymosin number 2 thymolin or thymolin 1 number 3 thymoboietin otherwise called thymolin 2 and number 4 thymic humoral factor as we discussed in the structure of thymus the cortex region of the thymus has spherical oval shaped macrophage called hazel corpuscle let us discuss what is the function of hazel car- corpuscles see the term macrophage hazel corpuscle is nothing but the macrophage macro means large size phage means engulfing this macrophage engulf the pathogen it is oval spherical in shape hence it called hazel corpuscles this hazel corpuscle involved in the function of phagocytosis phagocytosis that means it engulf the pathogen as the same meaning of macrophage in such a way it protect our body from the pathogen the thymosin hormone involved another important function it speed up the sexual maturity as we discussed already when the people reach the old age completely the thymus disappear so the disappearance of thymus causes aging it's much more important statement the thymus hasten the sexual maturity and disappearance of thymus gland which responsible for aging now in the golden point we are going to discuss some of the defective function of the thymus if the cancer or tumor occurs in the thymus gland which is called thymoma if any word end with m a thymoma leukemia that is called cancer so cancer of the thymus gland is called thymoma the thymoma produce defective t cell such defective t cell stimulate the b lymphocyte to produce auto antibodies look at the word auto antibodies the normal antibodies affect the pathogen foreign bodies but the auto antibodies affect or destroy our own part of our body that is our self part of our body self particles auto antibodies destroyed the self particles normal antibodies destroy the pathogen or foreign bodies now the auto antibodies causes the disease termed as auto immune diseases there are lot of auto immune diseases are there for example rheumatoid arthritis but the thymoma cancer in the thymus gland causes the autoimmune disease termed as myasthenia gravis the myasthenia gravis occurs due to auto antibodies produced by thymoma that auto auto antibodies affect acetylcholine receptor of our own body this is not a pathogen it's not a foreign body acetylcholine receptor which is present in the neuromuscular junction of our body where the nerves and the muscles joining place is termed as neuromuscular junction when the nerve impulses reach the neuromuscular junction the nerve end the neuron terminal release a chemical called acetylcholine with the help of that acetylcholine only the nerve impulses travel into muscles then our muscles become contraction and relaxation so for the contraction and relaxation of muscles in the nerve impulses acetylcholine no neural transmitters should be reached but due to autoimmune bodies 
the autoimmune bodies destroy the acetylcholine receptor the acetylcholine unable to bind with acetylcholine receptor so there is no production of acetylcholine in the neuromuscular junction as a result there is no contraction occurs in the muscles even though our brain gives the order to contract the muscle unable to contract such a type of autoimmune disease is termed as myasthenia gravis when this myasthenia gravis disease become severe that person may die due to unable to contract the heart unable to contract the lungs chest muscles thymus called as training school of t cells because already we know very well the thymus providing training while the t cell matured inside the thymus the thymus differentiate the t cell within the thymus the t cell matured while maturation the thymus gland with the help of its hormone thymulin it providing training to the t cell to how to attack the pathogen destroy the pathogen such trained t cell released from the thymus and deposit in the secondary lymphoidal organ after getting training from the thymus it deposited in the secondary lymphoidal organ the secondary lymphoidal organ such as spleen bs patches and lymph node etc so after stimulated the t cell deposit in the secondary lymphoidal organ from there it go and attack the pathogens that means the stimulated t cell from the secondary lymphoidal organ destroy the antigen produced by bacteria or pathogen hence the thymus is termed as training school of t cell bonus point segment some basic point related to thymus gland we are going to discuss in the bonus point segment thymus is one of the primary lymphoidal organ in our body though it acts as a partial endocrine gland but the main function is providing immunity that's why the thymus is one of the primary lymphoidal organ totally there are three primary lymphoidal organ but human being have a two lymphoidal organ primary lymphoidal organ birds have another lymphoidal primary lymphoidal organ the primary lymphoidal organs are number 1 bone marrow number 2 thymus in human being and especially in the case of birds bursa of fabricus thymus gland is a endodermal in origin it is located in the mediastinum that means in between this two lungs space between the two lungs is called mediastinum it is present underneath the breast bone at birth the thymus is very small in size during the childhood slowly increase the size till the age of 12 at puberty thymus reach the maximum size that means at the age of 12 during the adulthood after the puberty thymus slowly reduce the size at the old age completely it disappears so the old age people have less immunity previous year neat question segment Question number one, which is taken from the preliminary exam 2008, which one of the following pairs of organ includes only the endocrine gland? Option A, thymus and testis. Option B, adrenal gland and ovary. Option C, parathyroid and adrenal gland. And option D, pancreas and parathyroid. Look at the option A. Testis is not a complete endocrine gland. Look at the option B. ovary is not a complete endocrine gland it's a partial endocrine gland testis and ovary act as a reproductive organ as well as the endocrine gland look at the option d pancreas and parathyroid pancreas is a mixed gland it act as a exocrine gland and endocrine gland so the answer is option c parathyroid gland and adrenal gland both are completely endocrine gland that is only endocrine glands look at the option a thymus and the testis both are not a only endocrine gland thymus is a partial endocrine gland question number 2 from preliminary exam 2012 what is a correct to say about the hormone action in human option a glucagon is secreted by beta cell of islets of langerhans and stimulate glycogenolysis that is breakdown of glycogen option b secretion of thymosin is stimulated with aging option c in female fsh first bind with specific receptors of ovarian cell membrane option d fsh stimulate the secretion of estrogen and progesterone so the correct answer is 
Look at the option A. Glucagon is secreted by alpha cell, not beta cell. So option A is wrong. Option B. Secretion of thymosin is stimulated with the aging. No. Actually, absence of thymosin only causes aging. After the old age, when the thymus gland degenerated, so there is no thymosin. In the absence of thymosin only causes aging. So option B also wrong. Come to the option D. FSH stimulate the secretion of estrogen and progesterone. No, FSH stimulate only follicular cells development, primary follicle, secondary follicle development in the ovary. So option D also wrong. So now the right answer is option C. In female, FSH first bind with specific receptor on ovarian cell membrane. Explanation, degeneration of thymus only causes aging. Thanks for watching. It is Prabhu Sierra, Junior Doctor. Neat Zoology Coaching Karna Audio Cum Video Book. Keep on watching our channel, Neat Tamil Academy, in order to get maximum mark in Neat Examination.